good. Amanda Bechtel missing for two days, now found. Her shark-eaten body washed up on a secluded beach on Catalina Island, just 20 miles southwest of Los Angeles. Amanda Bechtel was the wife of Maverick.com entrepreneur Will Bechtel, founder and CEO of the popular search engine Zinclink. Will and Amanda were returning from a yacht trip to Catalina when she disappeared. Earlier today, police searched Will's yacht and have arrived at his corporate office within the last hour. Did Will Bechtel murder his wife and dump her body in the ocean to cover up his crime? That is what police are now asking. I contacted the LAPD. He says the police are here just to search the office. Oh, a lot of press just for a search. Executions don't get this kind of press. Uh, Mr. Trot, I, I, I'm the one who called. It was Will Bechtel. He's with the police. He's been talking to them uh, about an hour. Then he's an idiot. Never talk to the police until you talk to criminal defense lawyers first, and even then, never talk to the police. I told him not to, but he wouldn't listen. He's too upset to think straight. They just told him this morning about what happened to Amanda. And you are? I'm Robert Jones. I'm with the company. I'm a friend of Will's. I'm... What the hell's going on? We're conducting an investigation. Uh, these are the criminal lawyers I called, Will. T and T and G. Who told you to do that, Robert? I don't need criminal lawyers. I didn't do anything wrong. Take it easy. Just show us the arrest warrant. What? Don't you have one? Mr. Bechtel's coming voluntarily. You insane? Never go with him voluntarily and never agree to let them handcuff you. It's okay. I want to cooperate. They told me I'm not under arrest and the cuffs, they're just procedure. You've got no arrest warrant? You just want to take him out of cuffs so it looks like you arrested him. Unless you want to be hauled in front of the police commission, uncuff our client now! What were you telling the police, exactly? The truth. That I loved my wife. I don't know how she wound up in the water. We'd been drinking that night. Um, me, Amanda, Robert. Wait, Robert was there too? Yeah. He sailed the boat back from the island. Get all done time to talk to Robert alone now. We need to see if Robert's and Will's stories line up. Robert will back up what I'm saying. Here, I'll have him come in. This isn't some board meeting where you get to call the shots. You think if you tell the police a story, they'll just believe you and walk away? They won't. Will and I have been friends since school. He was always looking after me. Amanda I knew since ninth grade. We met in high school. Amanda was a cheerleader. I was nobody. But you work for Will? Yeah, I'm the executive vice president of community outreach. So he's your friend and your boss. You do and say what he wants. No, I'm not. Will doesn't make me do anything that I don't want to do. What happened that night, Will? The three of us had dinner on Catalina. We drank. Amanda left before us to go for a walk. I went back to the yacht to get some sleep in the cabin before we headed back to L.A. I stayed at the restaurant and had another drink, and then went back to the boat. Uh, I... Amanda was supposed to go back, too. Did you see her on the boat? No. Think, what happened next? What? At some point, I woke up, and I realized that we were sailing back to L.A. I went up on deck. Robert was at the helm, and Amanda wasn't around. So you don't know how she ended up in the water? No. By the time we realized that Amanda wasn't on board, we tried to radio someone for help, but we couldn't get the damn radio to work, and there wasn't any cell phone coverage. So, how was your marriage, Will? You ever fight? Yeah, everyone fights now and then. Did you fight the night she died? Yeah, but it wasn't a big deal. Cops will make it a big deal. They don't have any evidence that he did anything to her, do they? I didn't kill her, you son of a bitch. Hey, relax. Ron was making a point. The police have a way of twisting your words. You are not going out to talk to the cops. You'll talk yourself into a conviction. I can take care of this myself. That's your problem, Will. You're so arrogant, you actually believe that. Listen to me. If you talk to the police, we won't defend you. Look, <laughs> you sound like you know what you're doing. And I really want to keep you on my team, but you're going to have to let me go and talk to the police and at least try and clear this up. I'll give you a couple of million dollars to stay in the case. Letting you talk to the cops would be legal incompetence. We won't commit that for any price. Fine. Then, uh, 
will save you the trouble of quitting. You're fired. At least it's not our problem anymore. Can you imagine having to put that guy on the stand? Proud of you, Ron. The way you gave up money for principal. I didn't give up anything. This case is too hot to pass up. We're still Will's lawyers. What are you talking about? Will just fired us. He only thinks he did. Congratulations, Robert. We now represent you. What? Why do I need a lawyer? There are three people on a yacht. One ends up dead. The other two are going to be blamed. It's almost a mathematical certainty. But they haven't even arrested Will. They're just talking to him. They will arrest him, especially after he talks to them. And I can already tell you what the DA's story will be. You or Will killed Amanda. Our strategy is this. Nobody talks, everybody walks. The DA's plan is to get you to start pointing fingers at each other. That's why they split you up. Today they came for Will, tomorrow they'll come for you. No, Will and I are friends. He would never blame me for murdering Amanda. Robert, I've been doing this a long time. The police have a way of turning best friends against each other. Don't worry about our fees. We'll defend you for free. I'm going to make Will pay for both of you. He's not going to rehire you. Once he's done with someone, he's done with them. Oh, he'll rehire me. He won't. You don't know Will. You don't know Ron. 100% innocent. Like I always say, if you got the right lawyer with you, we've got the greatest legal system. Bad news. With the prosecutor on the case, Andrew Reyes. Oh, damn. Reyes is good. Very good. This must be why we haven't been able to get any details about the investigation. Reyes never leaks. And he loves to go after rich defendants, guys like Will Bechtel. Luther can't get anyone at the LAPD or the DA's office to tell him what Will has been saying to the police. Will has been with the police for hours. What's going on? They're taking turns interrogating him. They try to lock him into a story. Then they'll try and poke holes in it so they can impeach him with it in order to make him look like a liar. They'll confront him with key pieces of evidence. Autopsy photos, diagrams of the yacht, timelines, anything that might put his version of events into question. And if they aren't hearing what they want from Will, they might make him some kind of plea offer. Yeah, why would they do that? So he confesses or blames you? <sighs> no, he won't do that. Ever since we were kids, people say that Will has taken advantage of me. He doesn't. He's been like a brother to me. He has given me more than my whole family has. We did a quick background check on Will Robert. We found out the police were called out to Will and Amanda's house three months ago on a domestic violence call. That was nothing. All right, their maid called. She heard Amanda throw a vase against a wall during an argument with Will. The police never charged Will with anything. You said Will's marriage wasn't in trouble, Robert. Well, I didn't think that it was. I mean, I mean they argued. You know, Amanda hated that Will was such a workaholic, and he hated that she spent so much of his money. They weren't breaking up over it. Will said he and Amanda fought that night. Did you see it? They were just fighting about the same stuff, mostly. You know, work, money. Except that Amanda was drunk, and she threw a glass of wine in Will's face. That's when she got up and left the restaurant. Look, I know it sounds bad, but I've seen them fight like that before. Look, they're passionate people, all right? It doesn't mean they didn't love each other. Is that true? Or is that just something Will convinced you of? Well, no, it's the truth. Even if Will does rehire us, I'm not sure we should represent both him and Robert. Why? Why? Isn't it obvious? A wife ends up dead. The husband usually did it. Will and Amanda were fighting that night. He was angry and drunk. I think Will killed Amanda, and Robert's got nothing to do with it. So what makes you so sure Robert wasn't involved? Because he called us in to defend.